Okay, so here we are at the front of the home. Look at the beautiful flowers. I love those flowers. And we are walking up to the front door. There is a covered porch in the front, which is great for relaxing or visiting with your neighbors as they walk by. Uh, this is a new development, fairly new, and uh, it is sold out. There's still a little bit of construction going on, but most of it's gone. So that's a good thing. You have great neighbors. Um, look at how pretty this porch is. I just love this porch. Um, you don't see those very often, do you? So we're gonna go on inside, and this is the front room. I call it a parlor. I guess that's kind of an old fashioned name, but um, they use it as a dining room, a formal dining room. It could be a sitting room, great area for escaping and reading, whatever, uh, or a formal living room if you'd like. These are the stairs that go up to the second story, which is three bedrooms, I'm sorry, two bedrooms and one bath and a loft, which could be a fourth bedroom. They use it as an office. So we're gonna go on in. Here's a great storage room in here, coat closet, but it does go back. As you can see, way, way back. So you've got great storage. There's also a large storage room upstairs as well. We're going into the, into the kitchen, but first, the powder room, which is downstairs, and another closet, which could be used as a pantry, or as you can see, they use it for storage, but you've got a great, great kitchen here with all stainless steel appliances, 42 inch cherry cabinets, lots and lots of storage. So you really don't need it. You've got the under, ca under cabinet lighting, Corian counters, uh, double stainless sinks, and it does open up to the living, the family room and breakfast area, uh, eating area, if you want to use that as a formal area. So you've got this great kitchen with the island uh, and nice tile backsplash with accents. Uh, isn't that pretty? And it, this goes into the laundry room and uh, the laundry room is very large. The washer and dryer will remain with the house if the buyer wants it, uh, but you've got lots of storage in here. Look at this. You could put a laundry sink over here. You could do cabinets, uh, whatever. Now for you guys, or maybe, maybe gals too, but I find mostly the guys are interested in the garage. And it's a two and a half car garage. You can see there's room for a second refrigerator. There's storage overhead. But look at this. This has not only the two cars side by side, but another bay in the back. So if you have an old antique car that you're working on, if you have a golf cart, whatever third car it goes right in there so you've got it otherwise it's great for storage so we're going to go back into the house and we're in the laundry room in the kitchen and this is a pretty house i just think this is the prettiest house and so much for the money there is a pantry here And again, there's that powder room. And here we are with the, with the informal dining and family room. Look how nice this family room is with French doors that look out to the backyard. Isn't that pretty? That in the back there, uh, off of that little hallway, that's the master bedroom, which is downstairs. Isn't that great? So you don't have to climb the stairs. Beautiful tile floors, 18 inch tile. And French doors that go out to a screen patio in the back. So you've got the front porch and the back porch. Isn't that wonderful? This one's screen so that you can keep the bugs out and you can relax in the afternoon. And a very private backyard. Look how pretty this yard is. Isn't that nice? 
So we're going to go back inside. It's awfully hot out there. We're going to go back into the family room. How pretty that is. And you can see all the way through, that's the front door all the way back there. So let's go in the master bedroom and take a look at this. Great size master bedroom. Uh, you could even put a uh, sofa over there, a couple chairs, just lots of room in here. And very private. Goes into your bathroom, the master bath with double sinks, Corian counters, again the upgraded uh, cabinets, a jacuzzi tub or a, a whirlpool tub, not sure if it's jacuzzi, but it is a whirlpool tub to relax in the afternoons and look at the pretty tile with the accent in the shower. There is a linen closet back here. I'm not going to bother to open that. That doesn't, it's just a linen closet. But look at this master closet. Isn't that wonderful? Look how big that is. It's huge. Plenty of, plenty of room for all your clothes and even the corner for your husband. Poor guys, they never get much of a closet, do they? So, we're going to go back now. We're going to go upstairs and take a look at upstairs. And, um, see that. But you do have this great little niche here. A little hallway before you go into the master. So, it does give some privacy. And, again, kitchen. But we're going past the kitchen. Back over to the stairway. There's the front door with the foyer. So let's go upstairs and take a look at the upstairs, which is also wonderful. If you have kids, it's a great area for them, or when the grandkids visit. When you have guests coming, they have all their privacy. There's a great corner over here. If you do have kids, this, you could do a workstation over here in this corner for them to do their homework. That's air conditioner. Here's one bedroom, and that's a that's a full size bed. It may be a queen. So look at all the space in here. You have a double dresser, a uh, triple dresser, and a chest. So you've got lots and lots of space, and a walk-in closet. Isn't that great? And then next to this bedroom is the second bedroom, or third bedroom, however you want to configure it. Second guest bedroom or children's room. And that looks like a queen size bed. Still lots of room. And a generous size closet, not a walk-in, but it does go all the way across the wall. And then comes my favorite part. Well. I've got lots of favorite parts in this house because it's such a pretty house. But, um, oh, and then here's the um, bathroom. Also upgraded with with uh, Corian top, a Corian vanity, upgraded sink and fixtures, and the cherry cabinets below. And then here is the loft. Isn't that wonderful? He uses it for his office. It could be closed in if you needed a fourth bedroom. Or it's great for, for uh, storage. I mean, for, for the kids to have their study. And then, look at that. Another huge, huge storage room. So we're gonna go down, back downstairs and that is the end of the tour. Again, if you need to call me, if you'd like to take a personal look at this house, personal tour, I'd be happy to show it to you. My number is, again, 904. 556-0472. I am a realtor and uh, I'd be happy to show it to you. 
or if you again if you have a if you already have a realtor you're working with I'm happy to cooperate with them just give them a call or give me a call and that is the end of the tour hope you enjoyed it